What is up guys, it is your boy, WeMess11, and today I have a Team of the Year Tony Cruz player review. Uh, if you're looking for some cheap coins to get players like Tony Cruz, check out FIFA Snap, link is in the description. Use the code WM11 for 5% off. Now, into the Tony Cruz player review, uh, I did upload a Di Maria player review, Team of the Year, earlier. If you missed it, please check it out. It is on my channel. So here is the in-game stats for Tony Cruz. Now, is Tony Cruz an improvement on his normal? And is it first in form? Yes. All these Team of the Years that I've used so far have been amazing. But that's to be expected because they're Team of the Years and they are really, really expensive. Now, the first thing that I want to say about Tony Cruz, his shot power and his shot they are amazing. This guy does not score a bad goal. He has a decent free kick on him there, up and over the wall, into the net. So I don't score many bad goals with Tony Cruz. You should see his shot par in some of these clips. He just rips the net to pieces. It's actually one of the best shot pars I've used. It actually feels more powerful than Zlatan Ibrahimovic's. Now, people have used, may have used Zlatan may disagree with that but this is my opinion look at that look at the amount of power he gets on that as he crushes it in in the near post people who view Slatan a lot more than me may disagree but I think Tony Cruz's shot power is one of the highest on the game his long shots are fantastic his stat is a lot he is a lot better at long shots than what his stat says look at these look at these clips look at that for a long shot from Tony Cruz he doesn't just do it in one game. He does it every game. He's consistent. He, you know, it's not a one-off. It's not, okay, one-hit wonder, long shot every now and again. He can do that. He's tip. He's, uh, he's capable of doing stuff like that every single game. Look at that. He bangs it in again. That's in the same game. Two similar goals. The keeper had absolutely no chance in saving. Now, if I played him at Cam, that's probably his best position, in my opinion. I think if you play him too far forward, uh, e.g. a CF in a false nine or a striker, his pace will become more of an issue. But at Cam, I didn't really notice his pace as being much of an issue. And because his shot was so good, and his passing as well, look, you know, you don't really notice the pace. Whenever a player's playing really, really well, Pace isn't really a, isn't really an issue, and that wasn't for Tony Cruz. His shot was good enough. His passing was also good enough. His he won a lot of headers in midfield, heading it down to the strikers. And he also he could dribble. He could dribble in and out of players. If you wanted to go on a week, uh, like a run with him, like doing some body feints in and out of players, he can do that because his dribbling is very good. And I would highly recommend you pick up this guy. I would I would recommend him more than Di Maria just for the fact that Di Maria is a few million more expensive. Like Chris is only what 1.6 million coins, and Di Maria was uh, 3 million coins. And for the price, I would definitely go for Chris. If Di Maria drops the 1.6 mil, definitely pick him up over Chris. But you know, for the price you're paying for Cruz, you're getting a fantastic player who can shoot with either either foot and his five-star weak foot comes in handy in a lot of situations. The only really downside for him is his four, his three-star skills. If he had four-star skills, he would be the perfect centre mid. Not many people... Skills isn't really an issue, but... You know, a lot of my midfielders anyway, I like them to have four-star skills so I can chop past players and do some more advanced skill moves. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have another review up later. It'll be a Team of the Year Iniesta. Hope you enjoy. Peace.